It's Kelpie Vibes. Yeah. 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 back to our channel is Anne and Chem and guys guys, <laughs> guys as you may already know yeah, yeah the good news the life update we are engaged, engaged guys we're engaged we're engaged we're engaged guys I don't even know what to say honestly I'm just on cloud nine right now honestly guys I have a fiance I have a I've fiance. got a fiance. I, have a fiance. I got a fiance, guys. <laughs> Honestly, we have been on cloud nine. That's even yeah. an understatement. We've yeah. literally been in some uh, ultimate happiness. Yeah. Like, can't even explain. I actually can't describe it. Like, Honestly. We, we, we need to literally catch you guys up on everything that's happened. Not even the last couple of weeks, the last yeah. year. Because trust me, it's a long story. A lot has happened yeah. behind the scenes, obviously. <laughs> So yeah. like we just we, we thought we go give you a story time. The pros video that is coming. Yes. I promise you that is coming. Yes. Okay, we're gonna get to you as soon as possible. But first, we have to actually give, tell you guys what's actually happened. Like, yeah. Because when you see the proposal video, you will actually know yeah. how much went into it. Yeah. So we're gonna give you a little bit of insight, yeah. and then you watch how he pulled off the best <laughs> day of my life so far. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, let me just start squares. Square one, day one, day zero. Like guys, let me take you way back because obviously this all kind of ties to me. Like yeah. I wouldn't know anything, but let me take you back. So after I, I took Auntie Santorini for her twenty first birthday, so that was a while ago. That was a good three years ago. Oh, twenty yeah, twenty fifteen. After I planned that, I executed it well. Instantly, I knew okay, I can actually pull like something like this off. I can pull a big surprise off but she literally didn't see that coming I have confidence now that I can do significant things to make significant purchases mm -hmm. and it go well once I had that confidence I knew okay it's kind of go time now I need to start thinking about what I want to do mm -hmm. and there's so many ways I could propose to Anne but I need to, had to really think that like, what would it be how would it be special for her like how would I make it something that she would like so perfectly envision for herself for my for Anna and I's second anniversary, we went to the Shard, and that was literally the very first time we ever did anything significant, like not not significant, but something like big, like growing up. We're literally 18, 17, 18. Yeah, like when Chem said he's taking me, because obviously he was planning our anniversary at this point, yeah. and he was it was a surprise. He, he loves a surprise. <laughs> I love it too, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so literally, so he was also saying, yeah, just like we're gonna mm -hmm. go somewhere nice, special. Yeah. I was literally not thinking the shark. Yeah. Like I was like the shark. Like, <laughs> the shark over the hell. Nah, honestly, guys, I don't know. I just, I just want to just go all out. At my sweet eighteen year old age, I want yeah. to go all out. Having that always in my head, I knew I want to go back to that. I want to take Anne to the Shard, the place where we knew that we were in love and to really cement an another step into our future for the proposal. Mm -hmm. So after Sansarini, I knew, okay, how can I now plan a proposal in the Shard? And guys, as we know, this was 2019. The following year was 2020. So obviously, I knew I was a student. I needed to finish my degree first, get a job, pro a proper like full time job to do that. And I had plans to do that, but I didn't have plans for COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so getting a job already made it impossible. Like it just forget about that. Yeah. So obviously, I had a date set in mind. With me, I like to plan towards stuff. I like to work out budgets, calculate, and think about dates. Mm -hmm. COVID literally came and hit and just. I like wiped that entire day out. That day was obviously a while ago. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be truthful, it was a while ago. Like, for the longest time, I wanted to make this come my fiance, but I couldn't because I had so many things in the way. As 2020 went on, as we all, and we all kind of adjusted to life, lockdowns, all those sorts of things. And then me and came to Manchester, I still in the back of my head thought, how am I gonna do this? Trying to think, like, all I, all I cared about, you asked Anne, was getting a job. Like, like all I cared about, I know she didn't know, but. She could probably see that I, I literally, all I cared about was getting a job. I need a job, I need a job. That's all I literally wanted to, to focus on. Mm -hmm. So obviously, as you guys have probably watched our life update from 2021, mm -hmm. when, we, when we finally started to get a job, how rocky that was for me. Mm -hmm. And it, it was so mentally draining. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I, I don't think I've expressed how, how dark 2021 was for me because I imagine having something in mind, a goal, and it's literally, you know you can reach it, but it's out of your hands because of the job situation. I was literally unemployed like four or five times. I just, it was so difficult for me. All those barriers were in the way, like, I was thinking like, damn, like, how, what am I going to do this? Like, I literally, I had another day in mind. I had to keep moving it because I just couldn't secure a job and then be able to start saving and planning. Finally, as I got the job that I'm in now, it's literally as soon as, <laughs> like guys, I can't even express, as soon as I saw, we were like, it's offer you, yep. <laughs> yep, I started, I opened up that notepad. I said, cool, <laughs> like, let's start, bro. Like, guys, I said, it's time to go. Mm -hmm. It is go time. Mm -hmm. I literally said, there's no time to waste, no time like the present. Mm -hmm. I instantly written down a date, started budgeting, guys. Everyone says, where's the ring? Trust me, it's, it's somewhere, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Guys, you understand how much I want to make this girl my wife. Like, mm -hmm. trust me, God's timing. But I, I, I've wanted it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Long time, trust me. As I finally got the job, I started planning and literally, I think for about four or five months, I was looking at rings. I was literally researching jewelers, like for time, guys, it literally was, non-stop research for me behind this behind this girl's back guys it was <laughs> difficult i did all my research i found how to propose to the shard the right people on the use all the little details it was now about actually proposing to Anne, and this was probably the hardest part because i had to guys to propose to Anne. she i need to make sure she's ready like ready it's like she's she looks how she wants to look mm -hmm. without knowing she's looking she's looking how she wants to look yeah. like guys it's probably the most stressful i can't even express <laughs> how difficult it was to make Anne look like, like how she wants to look mm -hmm. without knowing she looks like she wants to uh, guys <sighs> the first initial thing i thought was i can't do it on an anniversary or a birthday because i know and we expect, but and as an expected person, when we watch side on TV or Netflix, and like spoilers, so she likes to see things coming. So, <laughs> she likes, Not all the time. Yes, sometimes, all the time. sometimes I, don't, I don't like the spoilers. <laughs> you live, guys, but watch a show, mid watching, she'll research the character and see, oh, she, she finds out they'll die. She will, and she will say to me, I'll tell you something, but. It might be a swim <laughs> Cool. So I had to do it on a time where she wouldn't expect it. Mm -hmm. But knowing that this is one thing I actually didn't want to expect. Though. I know you didn't want to but expect. But that's why I wouldn't. I literally always said not birthday, not anniversary, not Valentine's Day, not one of them dates that I know that something could happen. Yeah. But I really wanted it to be a surprise. A surprise. But <laughs> <laughs> that didn't stop her from thinking. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Like she always kept thinking, mm, could it be anniversary? Yeah. Like, like so. I, and the thing is, I can't say no because then, I, like, it, even though I'd still be surprised if she's not supposed to anniversary, then every time it comes around to anniversary or birthday, she yeah. wouldn't be thinking, ah, oh, it's coming. So yeah. she'll know it might be a week, it'll be after, it's, it's still to come. Yeah. So I had to think of a way to really trick her, to really make her think something happening. Mm -hmm. My first initial thought was to go through her mom, well, my mother in law now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was going through her, my mother-in-law because like and her mom they talk all the time and I, I needed it to be something something that doesn't come through me like and I feel like if it comes through her mom and and tells me the info she instantly that won't click that I'm involved so instantly now okay it's the trap is set mm -hmm. so I literally sent her mom a whole like script the whole body of work the details of what I had to say, the details, like all, any possible question I might ask, I sent that detail. So I said there's a function, it's just to impress, like Anne's family's running it. Like I said, I literally said like, please, 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 don't like make, make it seem believable, like all those sorts of things. But, and this is a big but, Anne's family were actually planning other things. So I had to now try and organ make, make, make this believable that they're planning two things at once. But in my head, I was thinking, this, this just ain't making sense. Because I remember, I literally remember the day Anne came to me and told me about the same event that I told her mom to tell me. <laughs> and Anne, Anne was sold. When I say Anne was sold, I literally, my, when Anne was telling, I was thinking, hmm. <laughs> you were really like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
Guys, when I say I should get Oscar for this whole thing. No, 100% he needs an Oscar because nah. The way he, like, yeah. I know I'm very gullible, but no. Yeah. Every single aspect, he just had it covered. Yeah. <laughs> as they were planning the other event, every, like, the dates were very similar as well, which made it so hard. I think there was about a two to three week gap between the two events. But the, the actual event, it kept getting moved a week later. So I was thinking, it's getting too sticky. Like, it was getting too hard. Like, I had to just tell her mom, like, if, it's, it's cancelled. If she asked to say it's cancelled. So I had to think of another way to trick her. So the only other way I could think was to now go through my family. With me, when it comes to my family's parties or events, I'm very nonchalant. Like, I, I, just, yeah, I just turn up, like, hi guys, I'm here. <laughs> So I had to now speak to my sisters and tell them, look, I need your help. I'm planning this and shout out my sisters. They literally, they're the best. They, they literally did everything to a T. Like they're actually just the best. They did everything so well. So I told them, look, I need to, I need to trick and I made a whole poster as well. I sent it to them. I said, look, this is a poster for the party that is a little 30th anniversary party that's happening. I need you guys to call me and tell me what's happening with the party and I need to act like I don't know as if I, again, I'm not sure, I don't even know there's a party yeah. so I remember that first conversation, they called me and was literally next to me and I was thinking, oh boy man, like, like, I didn't have to go like and then I was like, and yeah, I know you're coming right that's that sort of vibe, you know what I'm trying to yeah. say so that, that was working, that was working, like, it was starting to pick up but another thing as well, this was quite a few uh, months before the actual proposal day. I intentionally wanted it to be a forgotten thing because Anne's birthday was coming so I, I, I had the party in the air but I wanted it to be forgotten so that she just feels like oh, there's a party down the road. If I kept bringing it up, oh, what's the type of party, what are you wearing, what are you? like Anne would instantly start to think some things. Mm -hmm. So as soon as they said it once, about two months went by, that was it. Yeah, I, that's actually true, that yeah. was literally it. Mm -hmm. So just like we just knew something, a party was happening in November, mm -hmm. that was that literally was it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it actually went out as a birthday. So obviously her birthday came now and I feel like she suspected it would be her birthday. So obviously as I said, like I never wanted a proposal on my birthday. I just didn't want that. Mm -hmm. I didn't want the pressure. I just didn't. I literally I've always said that to him. Yeah. So when my birthday was coming up now, he was starting to be a bit too invested. <laughs> like I'm like, what are you doing with your hair? You? Like obviously he asked this stuff, but it yeah. sounded a bit too like, could yeah. it be this? I was thinking. No, but he wouldn't. <laughs> and I was thinking anyway, at, at this point obviously we want to get married. So yeah. whenever it's fine, I'm not gonna say no anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so obviously when we when I now found out it was DR, like guys, part of them tears were also I'm not gonna come back in games. Yes. Like yeah, yeah, like I was thinking I didn't know how to feel though. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I'm literally extremely happy mm -hmm. it was not DR. Yeah. It sounds mad we'll see it was on holiday, mm -hmm. it was DR. But honestly, that birthday dinner night, that was not, that was not my best. Yeah. I would have been upset. Like the pictures, we even had a photographer. Yeah. The pictures did not even make it anywhere. Yeah. They're staying now, come round. Like it was hot. The air was so misty. It just, it just wasn't it right. It wasn't man. right. I, I literally curled my hair for my birthday dinner, and they dropped before we even arrived. So imagine <laughs> if you proposed then, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna lie, like. I'm only gonna get proposed to once, so I wanna look as good as possible. Yeah. And that was not gonna be it. So And that was always in my mind and that's kind of why I was invested in a birthday. I knew I was gonna do it, but I was kind of trying to make her feel like it could be. And so that was just not nice. It wasn't nice, <laughs> but nice. it worked because it it, it, it it made her drop her guard down a lot. Yeah. Up to the actual day. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, when we now got back and it wasn't, mm -hmm. I was now like Oh my gosh, like now I really do not know. Yeah. Like it literally could be any time. And it literally was what? Two, two weeks later. Two weeks later. Yeah. So like we said, we get back from TR now and Anne now is thinking like damn like it could be any moment. Mm -hmm. So I've always I've always said to Anne, always make sure you're ready, isn't it? Like yeah, you always said this. So as we go out from DR now, it's time for the party and one one crucial detail, that like, crucial detail I told my sister to say is that it's white themed. The dress code is white, you have to wear white. Mm -hmm. So, I was only thinking, why white? <laughs> Literally, guys, I was thinking, why white? Like, yeah. what? That was already one that I was scared, like, she was a question, but she just 
she just went over there and said, cool, fine. Yeah. So she started saying. Because it was a family event as well. It was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, who yeah. am I to now start being exactly. like, I don't know where it went. Like, <laughs> if it was just me and Chem going somewhere, maybe it would be like, no, yeah. let's wear a different color mm-hmm. instead. But yeah. So she started to send me white outfits that like she does, and I obviously say what's good, what's bad. But this one I had to be very careful because I can't be too overzealous. Yeah. She was thinking, ah, it's just a family party. Why are you. Why are you so resistant? Yeah, like, why are you so against this one before yeah. this one? Yeah. So I had to make sure i was saying right words like oh it's too office vibes this one i just want his <laughs> nine like i had to make sure she was sending me the correct things the outfits weren't proposally like it was very really difficult so i had to tell my sisters to really push her like yeah. encourage her to get something higher yeah. you know like yeah so that was difficult mm-hmm. But eventually, she found a dress which, as you have you probably seen, yeah. was beautiful. Like it was so perfect. Like, mm-hmm. and, and I was literally very 50-50 on that. Because again, it looked too much to me. I was yeah. thinking, why am I wearing this mm-hmm. to like a family? Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, it's a party. But yeah. I don't. I'm not someone that wants to be like center of attention unless yeah. it's like my birthday or yeah, yeah. our wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I was thinking, this is too much. Even with outfits, guys. Mm-hmm. Right now, during the season, there's actually mm-hmm. not a lot of white yeah. so i kept seeing like the reds the greens like christmas new year's yeah. vibes i literally could not find anything i remember yeah. at one point i was like i can't lie i'm not gonna go <laughs> guys i literally <laughs> she said that three times she's not good and i was, was just like... i was gonna lose it and i was gonna lose it <laughs> because literally... you cannot go to this team <laughs> Because this, there isn't a tin, so I can't move this tin. How can I say there's, not, there's another funny party? <laughs> like, exactly. it has to be this it has tin. To be this, yeah. So I had to help her, but obviously I couldn't be too forceful. Get yeah. like, guys, it was so stressful. Like, mm-hmm. tricking Anna was literally the hardest part of this tin. <laughs> Again, remember, I said it was the 30th anniversary, so we're trying to use that to make her think like you have to really so, dress up. Yeah. Another thing as well, my outfit, like, Guys, like I said, I am very nonchalant. I need to look also propose ready. But how, like, guy, how can I now come and say to Anna, I want to wear this suit? I don't want this to be like, nah, cut the camera. It's like, <laughs> yo, your plans, it's the sign going on. Yeah. Because, guys, where do, I, where do I wear suits to? Other than, like, if it's a proposal <laughs> or, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. like, I might wear a shirt or something, which is also fine, but I really want to, like, dressed to impress i had to again tell my sister i want to ask you guys what should i wear i need you guys to come and say something formal something classy but no, no jeans and then say you're gonna go and look for me then come back in like two hours and send me this link and the link is to a suit that i want to wear yeah. they literally followed the exact script they said yeah cool it will come back my sister came back sent me the suit and was thinking the suit but because they came yeah. from them she wasn't too question like too questionable, but yeah, because it's a it's a family like event, so I think yeah. anyway, like they'll know what the suitable vibe is really. Exactly. So it's weird. Like I literally wasn't too. I still was thinking. It's the main thing I was thinking is the color because yeah. it's all white. How are you now coming yeah. grey? That was also very risky. Yeah, I was confused <laughs> with that part. So cute. Right? Yeah. Okay, but I yeah. thought maybe it's not that strict. And obviously, mm-hmm. with guys in general, it's all white, it is white. hard. Yeah. So I just. I just brushed. Honestly, I was too stressed of finding the outfit <laughs> that I just brushed off his. I was like, it is what it is. It is what it is. I think her dress and my outfit were literally the make or break and yeah. tricking her. Because if she if she like saw through it like fully like questioned properly, yeah. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have that many answers yeah. realistically. Yeah. Like I would just keep saying, oh, they sent to me. They sent to me. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like that was them. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> so now I was literally just counting down to the day and. I was just so nervous, like so nervous. Guys, that entire day I had so many things to do. I had to go and check on the venue. Like, and usually guys, when we're in London, me and Anne talk on the phone, like, because you know, we're love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we talk all the time. Yeah. But that day, we couldn't talk because I was going to do these things, but she couldn't know that. So I had to tell her, oh, I'm, I'm going to my dad to collect drinks for the venue, like drinks for the party. Yeah. And she thought, oh, okay, cool. But guys, I was going to take a long time. So I had to make up better excuses for it taking long. I had to start saying, ah, oh, it's far. I even threw stuff like, ah, oh, the, the driver is making me nauseous. Yeah. Guys, I was <laughs> on my, I was in my acting bag. He was, like, I was even thinking, oh my babe, like, man, <laughs> he's driving so far out for this drinks full of party. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to make sure Anne had so much time to get ready. Like, and I, that, 
that literally changed the game that yeah. literally guys at least you had a whole day that's mm-hmm. another reason why i didn't want this on my birthday or any other time yeah because you know you have like birthday pressure with like getting your makeup right looking mm-hmm. amazing there's so much pressure and it ends up going wrong yeah this day like guys no cap <laughs> you see the pictures <laughs> I looked good. I can't mm-hmm. usually I always like I don't I'm not a confident person like yeah, that. Yeah. But I can't lie. I, yeah. I looked good. She like so hair, good. makeup, what I did that. I might as well be a new age. Literally, no, literally hair guys, stylist at this point. Uh, guys, <laughs> I I I said this the best ever looks. Like, it's ever, literally yeah. Ever. Like oh, you yes, understand. Yes. yes, yes. Yeah, yes. we're gonna wait <laughs> to come now. <laughs> Honestly. But yeah, like it literally everything went perfect because because I wasn't speaking to him as well, I literally just had like a whole day. I was not doing anything that day. Yeah. I was there curling my hair. I didn't curl my <laughs> hair. I was like, yeah, let me do curls. Why like, not? I'm not for the party. Yeah. I was like, let me do cheeky eyeshadow. Why not party? Yeah. I have so much time. I literally, that was one thing. I thank God he gave me so much time. Yeah. Like, that day, it just fell so beautifully oh. in place. Like so many things went so well. Yeah. So as I as I was doing those things and I was getting ready, like I was literally so nervous leading up. Like got home now, I in my suit. My whole family were literally gassed on like, oh my days is coming, it's coming. <laughs> my sister were running around making sure I have my have the ring, I have all the boxes. Like guys, it was so funny, but it was so it was so beautiful. Like I just I just felt blessed. Like I felt like that day was just touched by God, honestly. 100%. And another thing as well, guys. We need to get there at 8 p.m. sharp. Planning to go up and is very particular. <laughs> very particular because, she, as we know, she can take long. So again, she had a lot of time, but it was hard to fully say it to her we'd get at 8 because it's a party. It's a so party. why are we getting at a designated time? Exactly. Like, so when he was even saying a time, I was, I was thinking, yeah, I'd be love it for eight minutes, like type of thing because it's hey, like, imagine. yeah, like it's a party. Like when we pull up, we pull up. Yeah. <laughs> So again, I had to get my active bag. So I had to say that we'll go with my sisters, my sister's car. Yeah. I'll go with them when they're ready. Yeah. And I had to say they're gonna get there at like seven, mm-hmm. which is still a bit early. I had to make sure we and obviously alone. It made sense that we're going by ourselves. Mm-hmm. So after I said that we'll go with my sisters, I then said my sister uh, basically snaked us and said, Oh we we have to, we're gonna go from here, go with my parents. But then my parents, I, my parents are the organizers are helping out, so they left early. So I said, it's just you, me, and you now, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just us now. We're gonna have to go. Yeah. So I said that they told us to get there by seven thirty latest. So in my head, I'm thinking, hmm, that should be fine because if it's seven thirty latest, they'll get there at eight. We're still not kind of behind kinda, the time. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I was so like. Yeah, it's cool. We're yeah. kind of like not, not, not that we were trying to be late. <laughs> Obviously, it's a party, so mm-hmm. you're just thinking, like, yeah, there's yeah. some breathing room. Really. Exactly. So, we're, we're now making our way, even though Uber took long. Yeah. It one came and it literally will say we'll get there at five to eight, which is fine. But for some reason, we got there earlier. We got there like, like 7 48, which is too early. I was messaging the people, the organizers, saying we're here now, like, are we ready? What's going on? They said, oh, give us, we're almost done. Give us some. I'm, I'm thinking it's no time to be given. We, we're meant to be walking to a party right now. Literally, it was. It was literally. This is when I was literally starting to sweat because why are we standing outside of the shard for an African party? <laughs> and I'm looking on my phone asking, so where do we go? Um, Guys, best believe when we got to the shard. So I'm now thinking, oh okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is around here somewhere. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking we were about to enter the shard. I thought yeah. it's around that vicinity. Yeah. But I'm thinking, what is around the shard? Then, like, yeah, what, yeah. what's actually here? Yeah. But I thought, anyways, I'm just with the vibe. Like, anyway, yeah. So we're going Why is he acting so confused? Like, he's literally like, what? He's even looking at what he typed <laughs> on his Uber. Like, yeah. Whoa, why are we? Why are we here? He's like. <laughs> Let me call my sister, like, where? Where are we? He was literally like, a, like, he'd never seen a shot before. I was acting so cool. I literally called my sister, I was like, which way do I, yeah. which way I go oh, for here? Which way I go, <laughs> way I go turn? <laughs> well, I, guys, so, I was trying to buy so much time. So much so time. So much time. Really time. But still, I'm being oblivious. And to be fair, I was feeling myself. So I'm just there snapping. Yeah. Like, People I'm walking past and saying, look, beautiful. Yeah, man, like, you look beautiful. beautiful. Like, yeah. <laughs> Literally, the last 10 minutes leading up to us, so, so sticky. Mm-hmm. We will find this walk in now. Like I said, my sister said, just walk in, she'll come and get us. But still, now the, the, the organizers will take a bit of time to come and get us. 
So I was thinking, oh no, my sister's coming now, we'll just wait around. Now. But then Ansel would place take a picture now. And I'm thinking, yes. Yeah. Something to take time because when I take pictures, she likes to, you know, take, <laughs> take pictures, time. but take again. Yeah. So that usually took a good five, six, seven minutes. Mm -hmm. And that allowed us time for them to finally come out and come collect us. But I knew, I said my sister's coming. Why is a white man coming to collect us? <laughs> Why? I was thinking, what? So that is, at that point, I was thinking, okay. Yeah. Like every little thing during that whole day that I found sus, mm -hmm. literally mainly from when we got outside the shot. Yeah. And then now this guy coming to meet us to take us into the party. I was yeah. thinking, could it? Nah. Yeah. Anyway, maybe. At least you just kept telling myself, nah, maybe not. Uh, personally, for me, I kind of feel like if she now starts to think it's happening, it's now when the guy's taking us. I don't mind that because yeah, yeah, yeah. because like it's it's hard. It's, it's it's literally almost right in your face. Yeah. But she still kind of was thinking like, what's what's going on? Yeah. It's not until they open the door, literally, she that walks moment. out, and then I think it really hits her. Yeah. Because I literally was doing, could it? Could it not be? Yeah. And I was like. Yeah. It's literally now. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, guys, I literally enter, and guys, like, it's as if I couldn't read again. It's as if I couldn't <laughs> see marry me. I couldn't, I just, I could, I. <laughs> guys, all my life, like, I literally froze. Like, yeah. in that moment, till from that walking in yeah. to. Go in there, he's yeah. holding my hands, he's yeah. looking into my eyes, he's giving speech, yeah. the music's playing, the videographer's there, the photographer. It was just, oh my gosh, <laughs> I literally couldn't breathe. Yeah. So, everything, like up until he literally went on one knee, mm -hmm. I wasn't there. Like, yeah. I literally feel like I wasn't there. Yeah. Even now, like, I need to see the footage because yeah. I can't remember. Like, I literally froze. It was like, a flash, man. It was, oh, it was such a flash, but it was literally amazing. Like, yeah. even what he said in his speech, I, I couldn't even remember. I remember the following day, like, he was telling me mm -hmm. what his speech was, and I was like, when did you say that? Like, <laughs> guys, even me, like, guys, like, I always hear guys say, when they get down on the knee, everything's out the window. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> like, I can't, I literally was practicing. Yeah. Guys, tell me why. I only said, like, 50% of what I done. <laughs> I, but he did good though, like he really remembered, like he literally had a whole speech, like I couldn't even, I was there really like, huh? Like this is actually happening like now? Like, mm -hmm. oh, honestly. Yeah, so literally up until mm -hmm. he now asked, like, <laughs> <Will you marry? laughs> yeah, up until he said that part, it was like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, damn, like, yeah. that actually be engaged, like, this, yeah. is, this is real, like, yeah. It, it, and it was just so, so, because when we were looking at each other, it, like, was I just looking at you? You, you, you were. Like, it, was, it, was, <laughs> was, it was just, it was just a lot because, I, well, for me, but I, I think for Anne as well, a lot of what was going through her head as well was how wow. It was from, a reminiscent for me. From when we were 15, 16, in the exactly. park, walking to McDonald's, like, exactly. with, like to now, like we're actually here. Guys, literally before, I don't know if it was when he went on one knee or just before, mm -hmm. Ed Sheeran was obviously playing and the way we were just kids when we fed, <laughs> it came up that part. I literally it's lost it. I literally yeah. started bored. I was thinking, how, how are the pictures going to be? Yeah. <laughs> because, guys, the pictures, I'm even so happy because, mm -hmm. wow, like yeah. my makeup was different. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> because I don't know how I managed to touch up after mm -hmm. the tears, I was crying like yeah. I literally could not breathe. Yeah. Like I was so happy, and there, it was just a reminiscing. It was just yeah. like wow, like we knew it was coming, we knew we wanted this, but it's here now. Yeah. Like imagine 15, 16 year old us yeah. thinking, damn, wow. like we're here. You're getting married. We're actually getting married. Yeah. I literally, it was amazing. Like mm -hmm. I, I just. I just loved it. Like I just oh so my happy. gosh. Like, it's from 2019 yeah. thinking about cool I need to get started to now like I just thank God man. Like, honestly. She like, is gonna be my wife. <laughs> I just I honestly like it's just amazing. Yeah. For me, it's when he now could also finally tell me everything of how he did everything. Yeah. Even from the ring, having to leave it, like have it in London. Yeah. Because we live together, like yeah. planning something like this is hard. Even planning mm -hmm. surprise birthday trips is hard. Imagine yeah. this. Yeah. So yeah, like he just, he literally did an amazing job. Every mm -hmm. single gap, like, because as I obviously will question a lot of things and I did question quite a few things. Yeah. He still had an answer for everything. Like he literally mm -hmm. thought of, 
every single aspect of yeah. this plan, like everything. It was just so well thought. It was just amazing. Like I just yeah. Honestly guys. Literally best day of our lives so far. Honestly, like honestly. second to nothing. Like mm -hmm. I still just look back at the pictures, like I just think back like I just in the moment I just felt so Happy, happy right guys i cannot wait for you guys to see the full video yeah. of the proposal because you guys have followed us on the journey for like almost three years now yeah so you've seen quite a big chunk of it mm -hmm. so it's like we can't i can't wait for you guys to also see now us entering that next stage like yeah. it's just it's just i can't wait man. honestly but yeah guys so wedding content wedding series everything we're literally going to bring you guys on this whole journey yeah. this whole new chapter of our mm -hmm. lives like we cannot wait. We're definitely yeah. gonna do a QA probably after yes. a proposal video yeah. out. If you have mm -hmm. any other questions, mm -hmm. anything you wanna ask us. We had a lot of questions already. Yeah, <laughs> if, it's, if it's about wedding day, we don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know. But if you have a question, let us know. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. We're happy to answer. Um thank you guys for all the love. Like literally the amount of love we've received. Wow, like <laughs> So we could hug every single one of you honestly like it's been amazing you've made this feel even more exciting yeah. and oh it's just been amazing like we honestly. appreciate every single one of you like every single every comment every congratulations every just everything, everything. guys like it's been so nice like so it's so it's so nice to know how much love we have and yeah. how much love we're gonna pour out to you through yeah. our love journey yeah. and it's just yeah it's amazing can't wait. But yeah guys, we hope you enjoyed this video of yep. Chem explaining how he's just such an amazing person, <laughs> my fiance. Like guys, my ring is just literally amazing. I literally love it so so much. Like I just even the ring so did I even see when he even put on my finger? Like I couldn't even guys my eyes, the way I was crying, like I was bawling. Yeah. I remember we also had dinner after as well. <laughs> the way I feel like every second they came in. <laughs> Do you need any other drink? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> like, I was boiling for a oh, good three hours. And Chet also cried too. He cried as well. It was so sweet. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Come on now. You're the small, small tear. <laughs> nah, guys, honestly, it was just such a beautiful moment. Yeah. Like, looking at this beautiful girl in front of me, like, I want her in my life forever. Like, honestly. <laughs> But yeah guys, we thank you for watching. We're like we're back, we're ready to just give you guys content like yes. the wedding series coming, engagement content. Guys, we just kinda wait. We're in a new phase of our lives now. We what we wanna bring you guys along like it's just a beautiful moment right now. It's just, it I just can't Good vibes, man. Good vibes. Honestly. And also, Vlogmas is starting. Yes. Any recommendations you have, please let us know in the let comments know. as well. But without further ado, guys, it's me and my fiance. <laughs> and then, Chem, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you like, make sure you share as well. Yeah. And be commenting, yeah. guys. We want to see all the love. Well, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Peace. Yeah.